Yeah, Lena, for so many years, the Astros and their fans have watched baseball in October from home. But tomorrow night, Minute Maid Park here will be packed with people anxious to see a team that's been able to find a unique balance to win. You guys are talking the same old nonsense. Like, we're looking for Fabio. We got to think differently. The movie Moneyball exposed it to the masses. Gonzalez hits one in the air in the left center. The Astros have made it work. You can get an advantage. Sabermetrics, the statistical analysis of baseball data. Rice associate professor Jimmy Dish explains it this way. Look at, at probabilistic models of, of what can occur during a game. Uh, use things that occur in a game to kind of predict uh, future events. And then from the business side, you know, who to draft, uh, who to trade for, how much to pay them. In sports, there is a statistic for everything, but baseball takes it to a new level. Batting average, stolen bases, RBIs, home runs, strikeouts. But there is also third innings on Wednesday nights at home when the temperature is 70 degrees. And the Astros have used data to help produce wins. Well, you know what the plan is, it's just executing. So managers and coaches can look at where hitters most often hit the ball to shift their players. That's why you might see shortstop Carlos Correa playing closer to where second baseman Jose Altuve normally plays. They can also pull data on what opposing hitters like to hit and switch out pitchers accordingly. The Astros clubhouse have become masters at this, but John Elliott, an associate professor of sport management at Texas A&M and a psychologist who works in clubhouses, says numbers can take you only so far. Watch these guys play and you see how loose and relaxed you are. That's because he says the Astros have been focused on culture and not just wins over the last three years. What the Astros are doing are focusing on what is that stuff that creates winning? Investing in young players who mesh and putting them in a positive environment. If you've got a great culture and you're focused on eight day to day executing that culture, in other words, the guys in the locker room, they go there not to win a ball game, but to help each other play great and to play great baseball, right? And that's one step removed from winning. They're one of only a handful of ball clubs using both schools of thought to take them farther than they've ever been. You got to have the numbers. You got to have the players. To Springer. That's into right center field. Well hit. And you got to have the baseball gods on your side. Is gone for a home run. Jessica Willie, 13 Eyewitness News.